good, good day everyone. My name is Said Haruna. Most of you know me by the nickname Idimo. A few weeks ago I started uh, this project called the IAD which stands for which is which stands for I am different project. Basically what we do in this project is to raise awareness for talent all over the world and also to raise awareness on the less privileged. So like uh, we we'll raise we we'll go to schools and raise awareness for schools, hospitals and such. But we wanted to start with uh, we wanted to start very small. We wanted to start with uh, schools, and we wanted to concentrate on Nigeria first because we, have, we, we we I come from Nigeria and I know the situation um, Nigerians are facing. This international school which really needs a lot of help. So she sent some pictures and I saw the picture and I was willing to set up uh, an event for the for the uh, for the for the charity and. I posted it all over Twitter, um, Facebook and stuff and people contacted me and they wanted to help and people contributed a lot of money. A group of about six or seven of us managed to raise enough funds to get books, pencils and some like snacks to, to the kids and every single kid got uh, um, a pack of books, pencil, cleaner, drinks and such. I'd like to this like this subject. How is it? Is it? Is the environment like a friendly environment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many students do you have? Eh? How many students do you have? How, how many students do you have in your class? In my class, I have like 25. And you all have seats? Yeah. You all have seats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. all have seats. Yeah. Our main objective was, was to see how the school is, their situation, and um, let you people uh, all over the world see the situation that the school is facing. The infrastructure is very, very terrible. The environment is, is not very good. It's not a learning environment. Uh, they have a lot of things they need that were not present at the time we went. Their benches were um, faulty. They had, um, the benches were like breaking and stuff. The ground was not very smooth. There was dust everywhere. They had a first aid kit, one first aid box, and we uh, we asked one of the teachers if there was any trained personnel for first aid, and he told us there was only one person who knew how to uh, implement first aid, not that she was trained in it, and she was not present at the time we went, so that was uh, another issue that we faced. We faced, we saw a lot of issues with the school, but um, we, 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 this, this charity event is the first ever charity event, and the thing is, we tried to give as much as we could while trying to learn about the school and now that we have more knowledge about the school we know what to do next yes when you go home and you're working hard and doing everything that your teachers have asked you to do your little brothers and sisters are going to see you working hard and they're going to want to work hard like you i'm sure most of you already know what you want to do in the future and it's going to be hard for you to get there so you guys need to work hard to be able to do what you want to do in the near future i now know what you say as a doctor <laughs>
tried our best to do as much as we can. I would like to uh, thank everyone who contributed in his own way, whether it was advice, uh, funds, and all that. I'd like to thank everyone who did that. And for the people who wanted to help or could not help, uh, um, it's okay because charity is charity. You can always, you can always give charity whenever you want, however you want. And yeah, this is Hadiza International School. We're concentrating on the school now. We want to make sure that we help them as much as we can before we move on to another project. So for now, we're helping to Hadiza International School. And um, what I would like to say is, um, if you have, um, if you have anything to give or if you want to help Hadiza International School, feel free to contact me on the links that I'll provide. Or you can directly um, contact the school, which is located in Ubandosa, Kaduna, and International School. And um, that is pretty much it. And also, I would like to say um, the number of students in that school is 250, and the size of the school is not big enough to contain all those students. So I, I, it is very, di it is very, a very difficult learning environment. So, like I said, uh, if you have anything to give, you can always contact me. Uh, you can give all your donations through me to the school, or you can. And contact the school directly, and I'll give the contact address for the school, and you can contact the school um, directly. But for now, we're focusing on the school. We want to see how much we can raise and how much we can do for the school before we move on to the next project. So that is pretty much it. Um, as you can see, you're watching the video right now, so you're seeing the condition they're living. And thank you for your time. God bless.